Yep, that says Tuesday, April 18th. Well, good day, tubes. Welcome to Canada. I got something really wow to show you today. Holy smokes. Again, snowed. Holy jumping. What the heck? <laughs> it's actually a pretty snow. It's really wet, thick, heavy stuff. But anyways... Good morning, Tubes. Welcome to Canada. You never know what you're going to get until you step outside your door. It could be rain, could be snow. I'm in the middle of almost the end of April. Holy jumping. It's well decorated anyway. Let's walk down here. A couple things I wanted to show you. Not necessarily the snow, but this will all be melted in a day or two anyways. But uh, yeah, we got snowed on the truck. Look at on the road though. I'll go down by the gate after I gotta open the open the gate though. It's warm enough on the ground, I guess, from the bit of sun we had that it didn't really stick to some of the ground anyways. But the trees sure got decorated. Holy jumping. I guess we'll have to let this thing thaw out another day or two until we can work on it. Look at even the shovel I left laying down here. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I don't know if you'll be able to see it now, but I can definitely see it <clears throat> when there wasn't snow on it. See the angle of that rail on the left there? It's coming higher or wider this way, so I gotta still unloosen everything and realign that. But anyways, yes, we did get snow hammered. <laughs> anyways, what can you do? Snow still happens. It just has to get down around that zero or a little bit below and rain, and then boom, you got snow, right? <clears throat> even on the uh, laundry cord. Laundry cord <laughs> even grabbed a bit. Holy jumping, let's go up here for a second. A little apple tree. I'm having trouble with this little apple tree, I think. I don't know why it's been here for how many years? Look at the size of it now. Should have probably pruned it this year. But it's getting one heck of a lean heading downhill. And I don't I guess because it's downhill, but I would have thought by now it would have rooted itself in enough. But anyways, let's do a little experiment here. Uh, get over here. Oh, it didn't shake it off. It's really stuck down. I thought it might have just gone and ripple it all off. There we go. <laughs> so it's a little bit chillier this morning, I guess. So anyways, under the trailer here, my wife had a really good idea. She's like, oh, maybe we should cover the garlic up with something. I'm like, I don't have anything, anything that big. You know, it might be a good idea to put something on it. So she's like, what about a trailer? I'm like, hey, man, I got trailers. That's awesome. <laughs> So I don't know, you can see all the garlic's all good to go still. Second, you know, throw a tarp on, but then you get the weight of the snow, it would have crushed them down, so. But anyways, them big fellers have quite a bit of snow, and oh, here comes a crow feller. A crow feller. I don't know where he's going, I don't know. Even the shed, got some on the roof. That's all right. It is starting to melt, though. I see the eaves trough. See my eaves trough here? That uh, tree that was there, it was there, I'm gonna show you that in a second. It actually come down on a windstorm. One of the ones that were kind of going this way. Blew it down, boom, it hit the side of the house. You can kind of see where it's bowed there a little bit. Kind of ripped the shingles. We got her fixed pretty good, but it just demolished this thing here. So I gotta really figure something out there to fix that. I don't know what. Darn, I just had the eaves trough guys here too and they redid the ones on the garage down there because the ice had ripped them off, but this uh, this needs uh, redone here or something. Oh man, what to do about that, I don't know. Anyways, should have got them to do that too, I guess. But anyways, there's this tree stump that's left here. It's ready to get dug out. I'm gonna have to dig all around it though. Rip it out, but uh, our gas line for the house is here. I'm not sure where it goes, so I have to get it located or see if I can find it with Dylan's metal detector. It might go right down the edge of the house and then out to the road, or it might come down here further and out to the road. I don't know. Well, there's the garden, too, and uh, hard to believe in oof, maybe three weeks ish time, depending on the weather, we were going to get this planted, but. I really got to get working on that uh, little mini excur or the backhoe bucket there with the screen thing on it to uh, screen out the rocks and all the garbage that's in there. So, holy jumping. But the benefit is none of, none of it stuck to the roads anywhere. 
So I got no plowing to do. Well, that's all right. I don't mind that. Done enough plowing this winter. And uh, that would have been uh, maybe two, three inches of snow. So barely anything on the roads. But all the roads are clear, which is nice. So I don't mind that. <clears throat> Anyways. We are well decorated, but this won't last long because it's supposed to be like 15 degrees in a couple of days. So I'll either start working again on the sawmill or I better start that excavator bucket maybe with the screening option but it is pretty neat though how how decorated things get <clears throat> with this kind of snow oh see it's already starting to fall off oh man yeah she's starting to go it's gonna warm up today and then this will all be gone by later so it's actually got a little bit of shade under here or it's way brighter over there but then over here it's kind of more shaded under the snow that's kind of cool but anyways, over here, uh, I did move some stuff against this uh, hedge and put it on some uh, skids and stuff here. Although the one looks like it's come off the skid. The cultivator is such a hard thing to put on a, a skid or anything. I just don't want to leave it right on the ground. But it's still having problems by the looks of things it fell off the skid. Oh man, and there's the big tractor that's never moved and probably never will. Uh, my stepdad's trailer. And this is the little platform he made, and I've got the sides for it down in the garage there. It's like a little box thingy that goes on a three-point hitch. And it was one of his old plows and my disc, and uh, most of this isn't my stuff, <laughs> believe it or not. The loader off his uh, 135 Massey Ferguson. So the only thing that's really here is, that's mine, is the disc. <laughs> this is mine too, I guess, too, now, but um, that's, he said I could have that plow, but... Uh, I, I don't know what we're going to do with that, but anyways, it needs points on it real bad. You can see how, how dulled off the points are. They should be nice and sharp. It's kind of hard to see that, but they're not the greatest. So anyways, and I guess the only other thing over there is mine is the mixer. <laughs> and while in behind that container is my plow. It's basically the same thing only. Let's go have a quick look at it. It's uh, got sharper points on it, so they kind of dig in a little bit better although i don't i don't really think it makes a whole lot of difference all depends on your ground i guess but so that's where we're going to be sourin eventually oh yeah i can see that rail is really bent too let's see if i can zoom in here on it it's not bent bent i just gotta readjust them again before i tighten them down i didn't measure it so but uh yeah anyway so <laughs> everybody thinks man you got so much stuff <laughs> most of it's not mine <laughs> you know the all that stuff over there is mostly his, and he needs a place to store a bit of stuff too, right? He likes to have some fun, so. But uh, anyways, there's the old blower. That's probably gonna go for scrap, although it might be I'll hang on to it, I don't know. That's uh, my little box blade, which I think I've only used like twice. I think I've loaned it out, and <laughs> people have used it more than I have, but anyways. I like the machinery stuff, you know, like the two ends in here, and the, uh, zero turns in there. And over here we got the 800 and the north of that sawmill. So, anyways, <clears throat> there's my trailer back in here. Just barely fit through here, man. That was skilled driving back and up into here. But uh, that's good. So, yeah, there's my plow there. And uh, let's see, the plow points on this one are quite a bit sharper looking, right? Then the other ones are really dulled off, so... Should have really got this down through the winter here and give her a good paint job. Sandblast it and paint it, but I can still do that outside here. But uh, anyways, Rusty still plows. Rusty still plows, so that's good. But yeah, that's, that's my junk. Anyways, my junk. But I guess I better get this gate open here. It's probably past 8 o'clock now. Let's see. 801, okay. And uh, of course my little trailer and leaf box which we'll have to take off too so but anyways you guys all know that look at the decorating eh holy man we were actually uh out last night when it was doing this i'm like holy cow what the heck's going on here it wasn't getting like violently it was just a slow steady snow and she built up over time but uh anyway so there's the start of the sawmill again and uh, i got some work to do on that i think we're gonna do is fire up my impact gun and get that going um i guess i really should have leveled all these blocks first 
you know, put a string and then level it, but uh, we'll, we'll get her figured out. But anyways, that's it for today. You want a cold start before we go here? It's not that cold out, but. Got a little snort there, uh, trying to fire up, but here she goes. There she goes. Nice growl out of her, eh? Nice growl. It does a weird change here. Let's see if it does it. It'll kind of get a little more growly, I think, or maybe less growly. <laughs> I can't remember now. It's been a good truck, this one, though, but, uh, man, the price of diesel right now here is just I don't really want to drive it too far. Man, oh, man. <laughs> $2 and... Well, last I paid was $2.10 a liter. That's a lot. You know, and growing up when I was, you know, a younger guy, not maybe quite driving it, it was like 48 cents a liter maybe, maybe even less. Like, holy jumping. Anyways. So I got to get opened up here, and uh, looks like I don't have roads to plow, so that's sweet. I don't mind that. Oh, man, look at it all rusting in here now. Oh, 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 that's not good. That pipe will rust from the inside out, maybe. Uh-oh. Yeah, anyways, we'll catch you all later. Just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. And the holy smokes update. Holy snow, hey? I'm going to live in Canada and move or move to Canada. Man, you better bring some snow, snow clothes. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah, it's a little heavy on the trees, but not. this isn't too bad. Anyways, catch you all later. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for sticking with me through all that crap with that crap guy. And uh, sure, like to find him, I'll tell you, because, you know, I do own a backhoe. <laughs> all right? Essentially, that's not a good thing to piss someone off like that. And that was, that pissed me off. So, that guy better live in China, because I can't get my backhoe there, but I can rent one. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later. And you guys have a good day.